Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome. It's circus time here on Drink and Draw. It always is, but we're glad you join us. So I'm here with three gentlemen. I use it lightly because yeah, you better. <laughs> yeah, I know. Verona. Here's what we got. We got Dave. We got Jeff. We got Dan. You got me and Jack Kirby. Is here. All your favorites. Yep. Yeah. So glad to have us. How's everybody doing this evening, gents? Pretty good. I'm Pretty doing good. all right. Uh, there was a guy on Hollywood Boulevard with a giant PA that looks like he's now stopped, or at least I can hear, um, you know, but he was just, I don't know what he was talking about, but he was talking about it very loud. It was important oh, to him. You've always had yeah. trouble with loud neighbors. Didn't you have some guy playing the saxophone all the Day no. or trumpet or what was that guy? Me? Did you have some guy outside your window at all hours of the day and night playing? Oh, that was just downtown, Dave. Sexy yeah. sax man. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I started throwing. Uh, I made a uh, a blowgun that could fit grapes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I started that shooting was, at him. It was like, a commentary on the arts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those, uh, it was right outside of uh, Bar 107, and, and this guy would just come out and wait for the people to leave at the end of the night, which is like 2 a.m., mm -hmm. and try to try to make a little bit of extra cash by playing his annoying saxophone. Yeah. And you hated it. Uh, yeah, I was eight stories up, and I just I was like, I'm not having that. Wait, how was your aim? Did you ever get him with a grape? Yeah, I got him a couple of times. Um, <laughs> I mean, I figure a grape. You know, it's not like, you know, it's I'm not going to go to jail over that, you know. Right. It's, I mean, not it's not a salt battery. Which for now, nowadays, you're probably doomed. That's a good That's a good headline, Dave. You might find yourself in jail. Right. <laughs> well, you know, exactly. Stat statute of limitations probably hasn't ran out. That guy could. Yeah, uh, that guy can. <laughs> they were, they were uh, frozen. Oh. You know. All right. So I don't know if that counts. Um, counts. But that was annoying, you know. I think that's Actually, right. when I when I lived downtown one time, I was walking back from uh, the subway station with a suitcase. I was coming back from LAX, and some guy from across the street, way up, threw out a big chunk of ice, and it landed right behind me. If it oh. had hit me, it probably would have killed me. Damn! I was like oh, what? what? You know, that man's hand. No yeah, I mean, it came out wrong. <laughs> it really came out wrong. That, that, that is a, that is a deadly weapon. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what are you guys drawing? Well, we're all doing Kirby things, Dave. No, I know, but and flies. Well, let's let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. Hold on. There's a root. What? What is this? A title that, card. There you go. Yeah, title card, everybody. This is what happens that. when Dan takes control. Oh, I always like Big Barda. Back. All right, so uh, Jeff, you're drawing Big Barda. I'm actually drawing yeah. Hella. Oh. Hmm. Let's see, let's see Jeff's. Oh, ben and oh, I are both out. Oh, well, sorry. Mine's all right. I'm just here for good looks. <laughs> we, we, we need that, Ben. <laughs> she looks like she uh, she's getting ready to be involved in a relationship with Banshee. She's like, okay. Well, she's, I mean, she's got a lot to say. Looks so like she's cleared the mechanism to me. Uh, there's, uh... Now, are you sure her name's not Wella? Because that's a big W on her chest. Well, yeah. yeah, I, I, this is the old school Kirby version of Hella. Oh, she I went. That, yeah, she I had that big W on there. I went to the, w. I went to the older version of, of Hella. Oh, did you? Oh, excellent. Yeah. I mean, Loki's daughter. Oh, well, Dave Johnson. It's a white piece of paper. Well, you can see it with the light bulb, no. and not really white paper. Well, you know, unlike uh, Dan, I. I usually try to do the art on the show. Not well, guess what? Cheap. You're in. You're in. You're in luck today. I'm doing the drawing on the show. Wow! Excellent. What character are you doing, Dan? Uh, I'm doing or one of my Kirby favorite characters that Kirby came up with, um, Valkyrie. Valkyrie, hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah, but did he come up with Valkyrie? Did we, Why uh, would I do it if he didn't? The show is about Jack Kirby, isn't it? I think is that. Man? I think that was a different Kirby. His lesser known cousin. Maybe. I think the fans can tell us uh, who who actually did uh, Valkyrie. 
Oh, I guarantee it's seconds <laughs> away. Is that, is that one we'll know? Well, we all know it's Kirby. Do we, do we have money on Kirby? It's someone for, for, that worked at Marvel. You might have you ever, Kirby's name on the book. Maybe. Did you guys ever uh, meet Kirby? I did. So did I. I never did. I did not. Go, Jeff. You and me, man. Yep. 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 I never met him. Does that make that you sad? Too. Do you feel like like you have not lived a life? I mean, it would have been nice to talk to him, but no, I'm. It's... What if you had met him? You and... out. Hey, sure. What if you had met him and uh, he said, "You know, oh, I know your work. Uh, I'm I'm not a big fan. Would that have Would that have hurt?" Jeff's had that before. It's not. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jim Shooter was not a fan of my stuff. Oh, that's right. I remember that. <laughs> and also, uh, I, I think it's, it's, he's changed his tune. But uh, there was a time when um, Eric Larson wasn't a big fan. Uh, when I was first trying to break Jeff? in, uh, well, when I, I met Eric when he was, when we were, he was very young. I was very young, still in high school. Um, and... Uh, I went to a comic book convention that he was at, and he told me not to quit my day job. Wow. But, I mean, later on, he gave me a job doing some stuff. And so it's, I think that he, I improved. He could read it in your, in your personality that you would take that as a challenge. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but, I mean, to be fair, I'm sure the samples I was showing him were not that good. How many years later were you working at Marvel? Um... I must have been 17 at the time. So seven. You're seven years old. Seven, seven years later. Oh, seven years later. I thought you were yeah, seven, yeah. Years, seven years old. Yeah, no, I got the, I got the don't quit your day job when I was 17. And then I got Wonder Man. I was like 22, 21, something like that. Now, did you go back to Eric Larson and thumb your nose at, at his, uh, Terrible uh, suggestion. Yeah. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have quit my day job. Being a comic artist might not have been the smartest thing. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, he, I, who knows? In hindsight, maybe he was just giving me good advice. It's like, this kid, I like this kid. Yeah, this is a nice kid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steer him straight. I'm actually going to give him the proper, I, w I wish someone would have told me this. Right. I mean, it would have been helpful if he then said, go into medicine or become a banker. He goes, you look like a banker. You look like you look like you got yeah. brains. You yeah. a banker. I was a banker for a while. Dr. Not, not a fun job. Um, I'm almost done. Are you going to start on a Kirby character now? <laughs> what, what, got it work? Work? <laughs> um, well, I mean, a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy about people saying that um, John Buscema actually created it Valkyrie. Uh, yeah yeah roy thomas and john Buscema. That's yeah but are we going to believe everything hmm from you or from pretty much anyone else i mean that's a fair question <laughs> that's a fair question jeff normally i wouldn't agree with normally I, no matter what the subject is i wouldn't agree with jeff <laughs> right so jeff what's the w you know, that's a really good question. So I this is the early uh, Kirby design. She does have the W on her chest. Um, it eventually goes away, but uh, I have no idea. I thought perhaps <laughs> it's a W for Woden, um, but I don't know why she would have a W on her chest. I'm assuming then it's just a uh, just a cool Kirby design. Hmm. So it's but not really a W. I don't know. I did some I did some research and I couldn't find anything specifically saying that it was a W, um, so I don't know. It's a it's a mystery. It Maybe someone who has uh, more intimate Kirby knowledge than me can answer that question. But which did, we discovered is pretty much anyone. Uh, yeah, yeah, most people. Yeah, mm -hmm. most people. I always loved the early Galactus design. It had a big G on there, and I'm like, I always laugh at when aliens have English 
<laughs> right. Letters on their design. <laughs> it's like, okay, all right. Well, maybe the G stands for hope in whatever language she has. <laughs> Well, in my world, it stands for hungry. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. You're effed. <laughs> hmm. Dave, that looks pretty technical. I'm very perplexed by this W thing. I'm not, I have to do some Googling. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe you can find something. I wasn't able to. Not that I don't trust you, Jeff. <laughs> so you actually don't trust Jeff. The fans don't have anything to say. They're perplexed. All right. By Valkyrie and W's. Because they were not expecting that. No. 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 Jeff, were you expecting that? I know that, that a lot of times, and I guess probably the fans don't realize it. A lot of times, you'll put in requests for me. Uh, for you to do a drawing, I've always yeah. wanted to see you do Valkyrie, especially that time we did Valkyrie. Well, <laughs> why would you bring that up? I, I'm just saying that that would have been the perfect time, but I'm glad that you waited, held it in, held it back. Mm -hmm. True. It's funny drawing uh, Hella again. It reminds me of why I charge a what I call a Hella tax on people <laughs> who want Hella commissions at shows. This is. Do you get a lot of Hella requests? You what? You know that, Jeff? I, I didn't know. Is that a big request one for you, Dave? It's a huge one it's, for Dave. It's, I mean, I've had it in the past. I'm just saying, like, her and Galactus, I had, I, I had an extra surcharge. Uh, a, a surter tax, if you will? Yeah, because their designs are so freaking hard to do. <laughs> yeah, Ben got it. <laughs> I got it. I missed it. Uh, Suter? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's. I think uh, it's all those crazy Kirby designs are are. Uh, They're special. As complicated as Asgardian headdresses are always insane. For guys, you know, who worked as fast as he did, he definitely never had a pity on himself in costume design. That's for sure. Right. Yeah, maybe that's because he worked so fast. He goes, you know what? This will slow me down. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, anybody who uh, is. Any kind of uh, what's what's the thing when you get really annoyed when things are out of place or um, OCD? Yeah, mm -hmm. anybody who's OCD, you know, like reading a Kirby comic, you know, the designs change every panel. Yeah, so I think that's the other way he could do it is he's like, well, I don't care. You know, <laughs> like, ah, she's got some horns. Yeah, you know yeah, it's like the horns change every panel. Rob, Rob would do that. Rob Lightfeld. Well, that's the, all. Uh, the that's fans, all the fans would get a little upset, you know, on the message boards when they'd see big changes. Hmm. Um, I can't imagine anyone getting upset with Rob on message. No, he, Rob never has any kind of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> the good old message board. All right. So since no one's answering, uh, no, I don't think it's for wings. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is that what somebody said? And someone said wings. Someone said vagina, <laughs> which I think is funny. Vagina? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I got nothing. I have to ask uh, smarter people than me in the world of comics. I'm almost done. I've heard this before from you. Oh, you got all the script to do. You got a ways. That's the easiest part. That's my, uh, What's the name of her sword? Well, actually, she, that's the other thing. She carries a spear. Yeah, but she has a sword, too. It's got a special name. Uh, I think it's Excalibur. Negative. Uh, nope. That's Dane. Dane Cook? Dane Cook? What's going on here, Jeff? Yeah, what what is the name of her sword? I can't remember. Uh, a dragon fang or something like that, right? Sounds familiar. I don't know. Kirby had a weird way of... Um, naming those things. Let's see. Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics? Oh, uh, God. What did I have to do? I hate uh, this. This. Uh, if you're watching, you're not seeing this part. Man. Oh, man anybody it seen hurts that. to see that. You've you been drinking too much coffee? Oh, I only had one cup today. 
cocaine. Cocaine. Um, yeah, that didn't happen, everybody. The Enchanted draw her horse? Sword Dragon Fang, yes. Doesn't her horse have a name, too? Uh, Brightwing, maybe? Brightwing. I'm just pulling that one out. That may be... Uh, is it the same horse that... Uh, uh, what's her name? Mirage from New Mutants takes later. Is that the same horse? I think it is. I think it's Brightwing. Well done, Ben. The Googles will tell you. Yeah. Let's see here. Nope. She rides a horse named Aragorn. Hmm. Does it know that? Not Aragorn. 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 Kind of hoping she'd ride a horse with no name. Only through the desert. Which I hear is the best place for that sort of. If you gotta ride a horse with no name. Hmm. So yeah, there you go. I was one for two on Valkyrie. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Pretty Very good. Old. For for an old Kirby character. Yeah, for an old Kirby character like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Bill Douglas was on top of it. I'm sorry, Bill. I did not look up i was searching the googles and ted admonishes you dan i expect no less straight edge oh for my my blast it's straight edge so straight. ben were you a defenders were you an old kirby fan an were old a, kirby fan, fan of the defenders well i mean were you a well that yeah defenders and valkyrie that's where i i swear i discovered her, her classic kirby character in the defenders but um <laughs> Are you a Kirby fan? Are you? Uh, you seem to have some pretty good knowledge of Kirby. I mean, it's hard not to be a Kirby fan if you're a Marvel Universe fan. I mean, That's for sure. Some people don't like the art. I don't know why, but some people don't. Um, it works when Kirby did it. There are guys that who then try to do that Kirby style that just doesn't work to me. Um, you know, it's one thing like Dave will use uh, Kirby Crackle kind of effects sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But when people tried to do that same blocky, you know, Kirby yeah. style at the base was pretty simple. And then a lot of details added on top of it. And when people tried to do that kind of, you know, square jawed look, a lot of times it just it doesn't translate, especially in modern comics to me. But, but the original Kirby stuff, it's great. It's hard to argue with. Do you have a favorite? Of his stuff, I've, I've been looking at the commandy stuff a lot lately. Um, his cosmic stuff, I think, is probably the most enjoyable stuff to me. Um, mm, yeah, me just too. because it, it just fits it, you know, when he goes into those trippy things with celestials or new yeah. gods or something like that, and just is going to town with layers on layers of wackiness, you know. One of the characters I almost did before I settled on Hella was, um, the uh. Oh, High Father's wife. Though I can't remember her name. I always thought she had a cool design. It's High Father from New Genesis. Yeah, I don't know her name. Can't help you there. New Gods and Eternals, both. Those were kind of things that were just so kind of off the reservation of what I would read on a regular basis that mm. there were more crossover characters now yeah. um and eternals were, eternals was your uh favorite marvel movie so far right absolutely absolutely there's only so much grief i can give them for how that movie came out though i mean those yeah are the most hard, were, I mean, hard characters to translate and to introduce like that yeah it was pretty. I gave it a lot of slack. Yeah, um, unusual for you. Dave's not a vindictive person like some people. We've been getting a lot of movie reviews lately. Some of them uh, pretty tough. I, wait, are you, are you talking about me or are you talking about Joe? I'm talking <laughs> about Joe. Because he's he's like the new uh, Cisco and Ebert all rolled in. All all, all rolled together. Yeah. Yeah, you think he's getting paid for it. I know those are some pretty serious reviews he's giving. Dave, yeah. are you not going to draw the W on her chest? No, <laughs> it's not accurate, man. I mean, I don't know what you're you're doing. Dave, just will do whatever. You know what? I'm going to refer to panel two 
that Kirby oh. drew Hella were the, 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 the W mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Not Jeff. <laughs> Maybe it was I, an advertisement for Whataburger. I should not have quit my day job, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, get with the program, Jeff. Well, that is a lot of nonsense, Dave. Right? Um, I mean, you are really packing it in. It's like I a... would say this about Jeff. Jeff could honestly do that stuff in his sleep, though. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I had. I had to dig deep for the hella stuff. It's a lot. It's you pretty did? complicated. I mean, I don't know, Dave, was... if, you wanted, if if you take a like, one of the things I thought was really funny is uh, the design on her crotch looks very oh, much like okay. a uterus. Jeff, ratings, ratings. As <laughs> a crotch. All right. Crotch Italia region. Looks like a uterus. Is that what you said? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it, it follows it like does. her pelvic area and everything. It's sure. <laughs> one could say this and one did. Yes, Joe Donnelly the third just pointed out that Apocalypse has an A on his belt. That is correct. Yeah. So I mean, so it's a it's a reasonable question to wonder what the W stands for. I I certainly did it. I could not find an answer. So You know who perhaps, probably knows is Walt. I bet Walt does know. He's probably right, let's Walt. get him on the phone. Come on, let's go. You know Phone a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise he's not watching tonight. I know. I know. Uh, somebody's got him on speed dial. <laughs> I wish. You know who who's good friends, or maybe not good friends. That's maybe an exaggeration. But uh, Tony Donnelly. Oh yeah, that's right. We could. You could find out. I always wanted to be like chummy with Walt, but I don't know. I don't know if Walt would be you know, necessarily. You know, that's a good idea for, for him. I think Walt would eventually just look at you sideways and say something like, "Young man." <laughs> <laughs> that's true you might want to lay off the marijuana um yeah no oh, walt's great he's the best stories in comics at this point man it's just like sitting at uh you know grandpa's rocker and listening to tales yeah. of yesteryear and he's you know such a nice guy well also also uh what's his head um uh Who's the, there's another. There's so many guys that have like great, great stories. Well, Chaken. Oh yeah, Chaken. Chaken is a perfect example. Oh, my God. Chaken never told me about uh, Marlon Brando and Michael Jackson getting in a fight with a water gun. So. Well, that was that was Hildebrand. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's in a different category of favorite drink and draw stories. Yeah, that was legendary. <laughs> I really should have figured out a way to monetize that story somehow. Was, uh, I mean, yeah, we, we I about, would love we, to see a little so animation of it. Yeah. For drink and draw. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. He's got it out again, folks. Oh, wait, why'd you? Uh, you it's been all that time I hadn't used it. I'm pretty much I'm done with I'm done with Valkyrie. He's waiting. He's, He's just waiting for you to. But now I'm back to the ruler. Most boring part of any mm -hmm. job. Dan's secrets revealed. Dan does use a ruler. <laughs> doesn't enjoy it, but he's good at it. I, I did get a lot of experience using a ruler in life. You know, Dave, if I had known you were going to draw a non-W Hella, I would have gone with my next choice, <laughs> Granny Goodness. <laughs> Maybe it's just the angle she's standing at, Jeff. You, <laughs> you just can't, can't see, see the, the W. w. I mean, she's kind of askew there. Yeah. The light hitting her chest could be blocking out the W. It's, it's possible. True. If you want to think about it that way, Jeff, go ahead. I do want to if think about it. Makes you, if it makes you feel better. Well, just I like any sort of benchmark I can can stand on in a in a tumultuous sea I live in. I hear you. I hear you. Especially in this day and age, like Jeff. Just grab hold and hold on for dear life. Like a turtle, Dan, Dan you're uh, you're really laying your fr your fans down. I know. Trust me, I'm letting myself down. Normally, I would just do this by hand, but it's like I think it requires a sword's tough. No, he's it's doing lettering. Sword, this isn't doing the lettering too, Jeff. Which oh, is that's really cheating. Yeah. Mr. Lettering, 
savant Panosians using a straight edge on his. Uh, uh, Ted's giving you a pass. Ted's a nicer guy than I am. Yes, straight edge unacceptable. Oh, are acceptable. On yes, Thanks, yeah, see, see, probably not so much on swords though. All right, I'm going to wing it. This is the last part of the uh, straight edge. There we go. We're all done. Now I'm just going to go by hand. All right, now let's go take a look at what Jeff's doing. Wait. How <laughs> dare you? I'm going to use a straight edge, too. You are? Yeah. There you go. Where are you going to use a straight edge on Hella? For her, uh, for the, the action lines. Popping off. Ah, the action lines. Maybe it's for Wagner. Maybe. Ooh, Ooh, good. Yeah. Who came up with that? Me. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that? No. So in the the old school Norse mythology, Hela is Loki's daughter, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you know who her mother was? Uh, it's, well, there's the horse that. No, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a different. <laughs> they had Odin's horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Uh, I remember his kids. It's the wolf, the Midgard serpent, the horse, and Hela. And Hela, yeah. But uh, I don't remember the other half of the lineage there. It's been a long time since I read, you know, the classics. OG, OG Norse mythology. Uh, right. Been marvelized so much. I mean, most of that stuff is just like, really? Like, I mean, the stuff they, I think they were, they must have been smoking something when they came up with half that shit. They were eating shrooms, Dave. They spent yeah. a lot of time in Lodge House type, you know. It was a lot of, uh, my understanding is that they would, uh, when they were going a Viking, that they would uh, eat shrooms and then continually drink their own urine hmm. to stay high and then hit the beach, so to speak. Good for them. Yeah. Can you imagine seeing a shroomed out Viking <laughs> running at you? <laughs> With no shirt on. Like, covered in woad. <laughs> um, I, I had Josh Barnett at the house a few minutes ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> imagine, I imagine it's not that different. Well, it's terrifying because it was just, he goes, I got a text. He goes, I'm at your door. And we're all and the whole family was like, uh, terrified. You know, oh, oh, what do we do? That is the beginning of a troubling evening. Well, I was like, am I on his good side? It, you know, is this, is this my last days? Is this, you know, it could have been the end of me. His whiskey is great. How's that? Uh, did he bring any or do you still have he didn't some? didn't bring any. Hmm. But he, the reason he was in the neighborhood is he was talking to someone who lives lives by me, who I think is a publicist, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. And um, and they were talking about the whiskey. It's exceptional whiskey. Got a good taste, that guy. All right, question, Jeff, and this is putting you on the spot, and I it's something I'd hate to do. Sure. Um, you have a choice. Josh's delicious whiskey. Mm -hmm. or steam yard mead <laughs> that, is a, that is a difficult choice um, spot jeff i'm gonna go and i'm gonna say some of josh's delicious whiskey wow, wow. Mm -hmm. i mean i love i love steam yard meadery i love the mead but uh you can't i but mean that that's spicy whiskey is insanely good <laughs> it's really good whiskey if you're into that sort of thing. If you like whiskeys. Some and people smoke. don't. Yeah. That would be me. So Hela is the daughter of Loki and the giantess Angra Boda. Okay. Angra, huh? Mm-hmm. Is there any idea where the W might come from in the, the original myths? Woot. That's a ticket. <laughs> uh, Yowza. 
for the boobs. When in doubt, wooted out. Let's see. Is there glitter in the whiskey? And no, there's no glitter no, I mean, in Josh Barnett's whiskey. I don't anyway, know. It, I think the alcohol content's too high for the glitter to survive in the whiskey. <laughs> it's gonna have I can, I can only imagine Josh showing up with glitter whiskey. And, I mean, uh, that would be pretty impressive. That's <laughs> like the end of fun. Yeah. Dan, try my glitter whiskey. <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> which I would, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> it, I made it while I was sleeping with Queen Mab in the fairy world. Yeah. Uh, Mark Solomon says that Hell is actually Phyllis Diller's daughter. Uh, I don't know that that's <laughs> accurate, but I do see the resemblance. So besides that, is uh, anybody uh, seen anything interesting lately? Well, you know, I watched that book of Boba Fett nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that earlier. It's just that last episode was so horribly directed. It just made my, my It was just really disappointing. I mean, I kept thinking, okay, this has eventually got to balance out, but it did not. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty rough. I have suggested the uh, a Korean action film called The Witch several times, and you guys don't like subtitles. I can't do subtitles, Jeff. I can do subtitles. Although I did watch a movie with subtitles this week. What was uh, it? Uh, Coda. Is it good? Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, well, it's What's better it than The Power of the Dog, I'll tell you that. Um, it's, you know, kind of a tearjerker. Yeah, that's not fair. Coming of age, over anything. anything. But you know, I, I am very empathetic when it comes to my mu movie viewing. But uh, did you ever see Peanut Butter Falcon? And not all the way through, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. I liked it. Um, yeah, I started in on it, and I think I honestly fell asleep and never restarted that one. But I probably should go back and watch it. One of these days when I'm watching movies nonstop for a week. All right. I know somebody. <laughs> you know, save them for uh, next time you get sick. Yeah. Or on a plane, you know. That's a lot of, a lot of flight to get yeah, to yeah. films. I watched, I remember I went to New Zealand once. I think I watched all of The Lord of the Rings. Wow. That, that is possibly the most nerdy thing to watch on the way to New Zealand. <laughs> it, well, it was. Were you going to the Hobbit filming sites? I did go to Mata Mata. <laughs> I did go to Hobbiton. Were you worried that you would be quizzed as soon as you got off the plane? Well, I, I assumed <laughs> that I would have to speak some Elvish to get by. <laughs> Smart. But I did not. Yeah, I think uh, New Zealand's one of my favorite places I've ever been to. It's really fun. It's a so good far. place. Yeah. Jones ben, is a big fan. Yeah, New Zealand's he, he likes New Zealand, that's for sure. So Ben, yeah. when I got I was in New Zealand and um I couldn't sleep because of jet lag, and so I went uh walking about and I found this uh uh almost like a it, it wasn't it was almost like a cave. It was uh like in a giant basement. Um oh, gosh. and it, they had it's it had two or three hundred different whiskeys um and it was the it was the the biggest whiskey bar in new zealand in auckland yeah. and it was uh it fantastic music great big comfy like leather chairs and it was um uh like this underground gentleman's club that had uh like an old school english gentleman's club just great wood fireplaces and I, someday you should go yeah that sounds delightful yeah her w on the door uh, there was not a dog. I can't remember the name of it. Whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Whiskeys and scotches from all over the world. It was amazing. Sounds like my Would you go back? Place. I would go back in a second. I, I would live there if I could. <laughs> yeah, Ben, you would have loved it. Yeah. I've never been to New Zealand, but it looks gorgeous. How would the college with the guy from New Zealand, but I've never been there. Yeah, Dan, are you going to use your straight edge again? No. Yeah, sure. Throwing it in the garbage. 
<laughs> Never again. Yeah, know that. <laughs> Too many rules. Can you show us on this doll where the ruler hurts you again? <laughs> <laughs> you went to Catholic school. Years of inking Jeff, because Jeff would never use a ruler while he was actually drawing. I, I was always better at eyeballing perspective than actually doing all the math of the perspective. It never looked right to me. <laughs> so I just would, uh, I guess, fudge it. Is that the, is that the technical term? <laughs> I think there was, there was a lot of fudging. Look, there was a fair amount of fudging when it came to my perspective. No, I was always, it was always great. I was like, but I, I was like, man, Jeff is really knows this stuff because I know he's not using a template. You know? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was before the old no days SketchUp. before SketchUp. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the thing. Like I'd also like going, I know he's not using a template because all the other people I would, I would work with, you know, I could, I could find that um, particular French, you know, French curve or that oval. Right. And, like, oh, he's really making me struggle here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I did something really horrible to Dan once. I was, um, I was for a period, I was very much into Escher. And then. Oh, I, yeah, I remember that. I did this two page spread banana pan in perspective um, of all these, this tile staircase going down into hell um, with the executioner and uh, the enchantress. And they were fighting on it and destroying these things. There was all these yeah. tiles and bricks in perspective, but like bent and warped. And it took me forever. I just wish I could have seen Dan's face. <laughs> that was the issue, Jeff. I inked in two days. So yeah. that was particularly um, tough. That, and that's my favorite issue I ever inked of you, I think. Yeah, you um, were on a roll. You were grooving. I was definitely, a, yeah. I probably led to. I probably led to Dan uh, putting his name before yours. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't blame him. It was a ridiculous thing to do to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was. Uh, I I was a little bit perspective crazy there for a while. Yeah, it was beautiful, beautiful stuff. But yes, a pain in the ass to actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I was working on a uh, Super Patriot, I became obsessed with trying to get, you know, five point perspective down. Oh, yeah, it's brutal. Actually, no, I did more than five. I think one, I did like six or seven point perspective. Do you just were wrapping up because of Jason Pearson? Yeah. Yeah, no. Jason was, uh, Jason was nuts about perspective. Like he one time came to extreme and he, he was teaching us all how to do perspective because obviously everyone in extreme like they're like backgrounds what's that <laughs> um you know and he's explaining like not just normal perspective but just his insane like what he called it the something plum or something plum lines and he, well he, he probably got that from stuff as self taught us all like how to do perspective and in wow. unique ways um you know using a, a measurement system um that well, rob haynes had one too rob rob had a kind of a cool perspective idea yeah um, i mean there's a million ways to you know skin a cat i guess but yeah if you hate cats um, sure you know, you, you know <laughs> it's a hobby um, everybody knows that dave did you have um, a system for like a cool fish eye did you have something that you had worked out yeah i uh uh was before computers and i got a i got a set of uh uh curvature uh rulers and uh, and I, I just I would do um like a grid and then I would Xerox that and then lay it over another's you know and I would just build up a layer of a of a you know a, a five or six point perspective grid. Mm. And once I had it all done, I would just keep it and just reuse it. That's so that cool. really that really helped out. Um, when I took over for you on Justice League Unlimited, one of the backgrounds I had to draw was the interior of the Earth Scar Terrace for that Warlord episode. Mm -hmm. And it's the it's the reveal shot where they come into uh, the they fly through that that Arctic hole, that volcanic hole, and they come out into the center of the Earth. And it's that big pan up reveal that they see all the uh, 
all the other continents and stuff on the inside of the earth. And so yeah. it's that it's that weirdly bent. I just could not figure it out for the longest time. I eventually just took the took a bowl and drew uh, a grid on the inside of a bowl and then drew everything on that and then held that up and just tried to copy that as best I could. Oh, gee. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But it worked. I mean, it, it came out looking like <laughs> the inside of the earth with, you know, continents and oceans and stuff on it. It worked out well. But yeah, it was, uh, I'm it was a very analog didn't, solution. I'm surprised you didn't like then take a photo of it and then, you know, Xerox or use that. Uh, right. Nope. Just held now it up and drew it. Now <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's the trouble with being a Luddite. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I was talking to uh, Cully about this the other day. I just, I feel like I've, you know, paid my dues on backgrounds, and I'm just not. I, I don't enjoy them anymore. You know. Well, you did some crazy backgrounds on GI Joe Resolute. Yeah. Yeah, those were that was cool. Right before, uh, you know, SketchUp was like yeah. super prevalent. Um. But yeah, it's just you know, God, it's so laborious. I don't, I don't get the joy that I used to get out of, you know, trying to. I don't want to say show off, but you know, really try to nail a, a crazy background, you know, kind of stuff. And it just, just doesn't, you know, I got no energy for it anymore. And uh, I yeah, the weather exhausting. I became more about design and you know than trying to do environments. I mean, Dan still does great, great environments, but I, I feel like I've kind of lost, lost it a little bit. I've lost a step. You lost the, you lost the passion for it. Well, it, it's also kind of a, a muscle memory thing, you know. It, it you, you know, don't use it, so you yeah, it, it, it kind of yeah. It's, it's yeah. so you're gonna look, start drawing crossword puzzle buildings. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> oh, I'll no. never do. Yeah, now Dave, Dave's never going to just do a butter stick building. That's I don't care how tired he is. Is that what <laughs> you call them, butter sticks? Yeah, butter stick buildings. Yeah, I call them crossword puzzles because oh, yeah. I mean, there was never any floor depth. There's just window, 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 some are off, some are on, some are off, some are on. Yeah. That's, That's kind of a classic. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. No, 100% it should not be. But I mean, that's, sort of, that's just pure laziness well i remember the first time that i went to new york dan and i were there together doing and i was drawing spider-man at the time and i i i all i'd really seen is pictures in the comics and and whatnot and then like being in new york like each one of these buildings is totally different <laughs> i have i think everybody who's not from new york has that realization because yeah I'm like wait like, a minute <laughs> like, look at all this reference <laughs> Yeah. Damn, Jeff, where, where the hell did you grow up that there weren't buildings? Well, I mean, obviously, um, there were, like, I was a suburb kid in, in, like, Hawaii and Florida, so not a lot of tall buildings. Uh, no, where, right. Dave, where I'm from, where I'm from the, in, in Florida, the highest building was, was four stories, and there yeah. was, like, two of those buildings. So, all right, all right. It's really a shame, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Florida, sh I mean, I'm not ashamed, but I do, re I do feel a bit of, of like, sadness. No, oh. obviously that's all different. For Florida or of Florida? Uh, my time in Florida. <laughs> you make it sound like you were uh, in a correctional facility. I mean, all of Florida is a little <laughs> bit of a penitentiary. All the canals make it feel that way. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. It's. I think the you lose sense of time there. Yeah, for a while we didn't know if you were going to come back. Well, I mean, if in a different universe, if Cross Gen had succeeded and I had stayed on doing Way of the Rat, who knows how long I would have been there. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came back, Jeff. Thanks. I mean, me too. Though I do miss Way of the Rat. That was a fun book. Yeah, you were, you were great on that. You were lucky, though. You didn't have to pour Tom Ryder. You didn't have to ink. Uh, I went even crazier. Oh, I know. I remember 
completely, completely insano on the backgrounds and where they're at. Well, he definitely earned his money, but he's paid. Oh, yeah, now. that poor guy. Put him through the paces. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, the hell that Chuck Wakevich used to put his anchors through. Oh, I ain't him. Never again. Yeah. Well, what, what would he do? What was the... It just, well, it was, it was his style. He would he would do concentric or... Uh, hor uh, is it concentric? Um, like tires? Well, like if he was going to draw an arm, he would render the arm by doing... Uh, yeah, what's the word for it? Uh, where the lines are wrapping around the arm, but they're all the same kind of lines. And I mean, contra drawings? Uh, well, here, like, like, look, like, say you have an arm, and you would have to ink this, mm. like, constantly. Gills, oh. yeah. Oh, so and, it's, con and, it's contra lines around the shape. Yeah, and and. I mean, only a few crazy, crazy people would ever like like doing that, you know. And he would—I just remember him constantly, you know, rightfully complaining that, you know, the anchors weren't doing a very good job on him. And I'm just like, well, man, your style is, you know, you should just be inking yourself, you know. Right. And if that's what you want, that's not an easy thing to pull off. I felt that way about working with Cully because Cully pencils so tight that I was like, man, he could just, he literally could just be inking himself. It, it would yeah. Be well, plus he, I mean, I remember he, he would like, you'd think he was uh, driving those pencil lines in with a jackhammer. Mm. Well, I know. Yeah. So that's the other thing, trying to erase that stuff. Was <laughs> yeah. um, that's that's my generally my favorite part of a page because as an inker you get to see, you know the the fruits of your labor so so to speak and um, it's finally done you're like oh okay now all the lines are beautiful and hopefully you know. all right I'm done nice is it already an hour yeah it's already an hour jeez man I'm slow. Like usual, I will. I'll probably show mine off a couple of days after. Just kind of filling a bunch of blacks. Can you see yours, Jeff? Let me check it out. So it's almost like you're at the coloring book stage now. Yeah, I'm definitely at the coloring book stage. Cool. Yeah, I like how this is turning. I, I was thinking about watercolor in mine, but it just didn't. Oh, see nice. I'm glad you didn't. I don't think it's that piece. Yeah, it would have been super hard to do. Oh, um, I love that. I love those shadows. Very cool. I like some of it. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. No, I think it's awesome. You should keep. You say, Dave is one of those guys who actually understands. It's like it's like um, uh, uh, was uh, Michael Golden, where he really kind of gets that Kirby lighting down. You know the. The way, oh yeah, the way, the way he, the way Kirby would kind of do. Um, if there was if there was black aspects to a costume, where the how the light would hit it. If you yeah. check it out, those nice shines. Uh, take for instance the the leg most facing us. That could just be a straight line, but now Dave has broke it up, and then yeah. even in, you know the stomach, that breast region where the light's hitting the chest. You know all that stuff is exceptionally hard to do, and I remember I remember. Uh, being a young artist and just trying to figure out that by looking at Michael Golden. And it's, it's the worst thing you can possibly do because you're trying to copy something that is someone else is doing instinctually. Like they're just, they understand how the light's hitting. And so they would never, if they, if they varied where that figure is going next time, the, the lighting and how they would do that would be completely different. And I didn't, I didn't understand that. I thought these are universal truths. Like mm. it has to be, the lighting has to be this way on this part of the anatomy, and this is how you do it. And of course, that's not that's not how it's done. You know, sorry for babbling, but that's the type of stuff that gets me excited about. It's the working. nicest thing you've said on the show, and <laughs> no, I mean kidding. it's true. It's definitely true. I do think that uh, Dan, as you studied, since you studied the way light works and the the line of things, that's something that it's an interesting observation about. Um, 
how one person interprets light in a in a another person's style. Uh huh. I just think it's oh, fascinating. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's true. It's I mean, you can, like look at Tony Sammons. Like how how is how is that guy figuring his, his stuff? And then you look at someone else, and you're like, oh my god, this person has a completely different philosophy on um on how how light works and how shadow works because that is as I always say. Um, and I'm only saying this for the benefit of maybe aspiring artists that might be watching. It's like all these lines just represent shadow. Um, so, you know, and it's such a unique language that we have as illustrators to um, tell our story or, you know, visually. Maybe put it that way so that her legs don't look like she's. Uh, well, that was a great TED Talk, Dan. <laughs> I think I could do a TED Talk. You could definitely do a TED Talk. <laughs> you know who should do a TED Talk? Ted. Ted. Ted, oh, Ted. Talks yeah. all the time. <laughs> Ted's always talking. <laughs> yeah. Right now, he says, Has Dan's anyone right. checked the temperature in hell? Dan's being nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Well, yeah, I think about, yeah. if we're talking about Hella, the <laughs> H E L. It, uh, there is no, it's just, it's mild. It's not hot or cold. Yeah. Just boring. Yeah. Much like my life. Oh, Dave, don't do that. The Elysian Fields. Quiet. The quiet except for that gray. guy with the loudspeaker out on Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, except for the, for the, <laughs> the grapes. <laughs> I just realized, Dave, those were the grapes of wrath. <laughs> that's pretty good that was bravo the frozen grapes of wrath i know there was another guy uh in the building next to mine i saw him uh throwing uh water bottles at the guy like plastic oh, wow. you know filled with water they would just explode when they hit the sidewalk i was like damn that's that's uh that's some hardcore stuff when I lived in uh, in Burbank, I had a neighbor who would get on her roof, in the uh, in the get hammered, get drunk, and get on the, get on her roof, and just yell and scream. Um, and then I would take uh, pieces of charcoal, and I wouldn't throw him throw them at her. I would throw right. them up at a super high arc, so it seemed like they were coming down from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Little meteorites just to land around her, just to, to see if it would stop her from screaming. Did it work? Uh, then she ranted at God, which was oh, funny. Good. So mission accomplished. Yeah, I must admit, I've I've been really lucky with most of my neighbors in my life. I mean, there's been very few that you know I wanted to become a murderer over. <laughs> you're, you're talking about neighbors that actually lived in the building not the lady in the alley and yeah 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 i mean i can't do anything about those people but um remember that guy who took a dump in the middle of the road dave yeah man that's one of my favorite stories <laughs> that was such a, i mean such i love sad... the fact that as we were walking towards him i was like that guy is because he was in a three-point football stance <laughs> yeah. and it looked like he was about to start running across the road and there was a, a street light uh, behind him. Yeah. So he was in complete shadow. So we, we, we couldn't really see him that well. And I, I, I told Jeff, I said, either he's going to run across the street or he's trying to hold down the earth. Yeah. Because, you know, we, I knew he was going to be crazy no matter what. And as we got up on him, he was completely naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Just as we were business. walking behind the end zone, let's say, <laughs> yeah. the reason he was in that stance is, be, and this is, uh, I'm trying to think of a great way to say this. Uh, let's put it this way he grew a tail. Yeah. That's how much was coming out. And it was. And it was all connected. Yeah, um, lots of fiber. Yeah, it was. It was about, a, I'd say, at least a foot and a half long. Um, and we just kind of just said, "Well, that just happened." Yeah. 
I guess I, mean, I, can, I think the evening's holy. over. Yeah. Yeah. I remember one time uh, when I was riding my my bicycle down there. Uh, this uh, I actually had to swerve out of the way of a guy that was literally peeing in the middle of the street, <laughs> uh, or at least in my lane, and uh, uh, not even that far after that, there was a cop sitting at the at the traffic light. And I said, "Hey." Are you, did you not see this guy? And they, they both turned around and he said, well, now we do. <laughs> <laughs> and then they kept going. They took off. <laughs> they were not impressed. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I get it. You know, like. Nah, it's a lot like, of paperwork you don't want to fill out. Yeah, there's only so much you can do. And, <laughs> right. and I'm like, I get it. But good Lord, man, that was, that was too funny. Living downtown has its own challenges, that's for sure. It. It definitely has its own quirks. Um, I mean, as crazy as it was, I, I actually do miss living downtown sometimes. Uh, yeah, it was an adventure, that's for sure. Well, I can't imagine the Hollywood Boulevard is a whole hell of a lot calmer. No, I mean, there's... I, I mean, oh my God, there are... There are people that are angry at the garbage cans and they're constantly throwing them out on the street. That's always fun. Uh, just, you know, the random, uh, I'm angry at the world and yelling. Um, one time I was waiting at a, uh, the stoplight and there was a woman across the street who started screaming, which, you know, obviously, you know, caught my attention. Sure. And I looked over and she had lifted up her shirt and I guess she had a abscessed hernia. Oh God. And she was just kind of yelling at it. I mean, oh. it looked like a, it looked, I mean, it was huge. It was huge. Dude. Was it like uh, the thing in total recall? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the name of the character? That's... Oh my God. It's so <laughs> I, horrible. I, I mean, uh, I'm Quatu. assuming that the pain Quatu? was something. Like yeah, Quato yeah. or whatever. Quato. <laughs> Can't believe I pulled but, that out of my hat. Dave, I've actually seen that woman. I've seen her. <clears throat> it, the I mean, prolapsed hernia woman. Yeah. It, was she a jumbos or? No, it was, oh. it was, it was, it was oh. a sight. It was really unusual. Oh. Yeah. That's rough. I mean, you, you don't forget things like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I actually, Dave, in all honesty, I had forgotten about it. And I, well, I mean, there's, there's, there's all that therapy. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Impression and forgetting, not necessarily the same thing. One of my favorite LA, I guess you could call it, uh, kooks, is uh, this uh, Latino guy who would wear crazy hats like like Viking hats and all that, and he would ride a he would ride a bike all over L.A. Oh yeah, that guy's funny. Yeah, <laughs> and and at every stoplight, he would then start riding around in circles and, and yeah, and, and he had this really deep kind of gravelly voice, and he I don't even I don't know what he was saying, but he was saying it with gusto. Let's put it that way. As he's yeah. riding, like I bet you he's still there. Is that the same guy that only pedaled with one leg? Yeah, well, he would do that with one leg, but he had both legs. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's he's like a LA staple. Yeah, I've um, seen him. <laughs> he probably you has a very miss? nice house somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I miss is the, the the dancing guy on um, La Cienega, and um, what was it? Um, right there, right by, there by Beverly Center, and he would he would just be on that that divider lane divider you'd have like a, a you have some music like a boom box he would dance all day long no matter where you when you would go where you would go you'd see this guy he was bringing joy guy. to your life yeah. he smiled every time you saw him yeah i like the guy everyone liked him they actually made t-shirts about him and they they <laughs> donated the money to the, all the hipsters made t-shirts and they donated oh, that's money nice. to him. And he didn't want the money well there was a uh, batteries there was a homeless guy uh, downtown that uh, would uh, he would always wear a pirate hat. Um, and when I first moved down there, I, he 
you know, asked for money when I was at this bodega. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay, that's kind of funny. And I gave him a dollar. But then he immediately went and bought a lottery ticket with it. And I was just like, you son of a bitch. Free like, investment, Dave. Yeah, well, <laughs> what you did he do? You're not going to change his life with a dollar, but he could have he could have became a millionaire. You gave him an opportunity. I, 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 he probably yeah, would have given you your dollar back if he. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just made I just oh, made a yeah. hundred thousand dollars. Here's your buck back. <laughs> well, the other funny thing about him was uh, the reason I I I really stopped giving him money was uh, I went to another store and he had uh, headshots up on the up on the wall. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Everybody's, everybody wants to be famous. Everybody's so, got headshots. Yeah, yeah, that that just blew my mind. I was like, okay, all right. Um, but he's dead now. So Jeff. Oh, ouch. Jeff, do you remember when I was pissed when all that stuff got deleted? Yes. It's somehow magically back on there. Oh, I, I figured that out. What happened? Um, there are themes, and you were not on. If you go, well, I'll show you later. Show me later. Yeah, it, it, all the, a lot of this stuff is back. Oh, so I didn't accidentally delete it. But I don't see I don't see Jeff's um, another round thing that I just made. Uh, I, probably I, because it's on the other one. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. At some point, uh, like, look now. Is it there? Uh, let me see. Yes. Yep, that's what it is. See another round. So of all the way up at the top, where yeah. now it's where it says original drink and draw, and there's a little arrow carrot mm -hmm. at the end. If you click on that, you can switch between the profiles, oh, basically. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I think somebody owes somebody. No, a Jeff did delete it. Apology. No, Jeff did delete it all. It's just it just happened to be on a, saved on another um, channel as well. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm am still I, okay. I can't, I'm not going to apologize to Jeff. Of course, of course not. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do that. Sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't know what to do with it if you did. Yeah. I mean, Jeff, did you even accept it? I, I don't know. I can't, I, when it ever, if it ever happens, then we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. Damn it, Jeff. I owe you, I, if that is the case, because it could have just been you deleted all of them for another thing. Sure. <laughs> is that, are we get, are we getting played out? Played off? No, it's the apology music. No, no, <laughs> is it loud? <laughs> Jeff, I apologize for a lot of things. You uh -huh. just pick a topic, and I probably owe you one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, basically. It's probably valid for most people. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I... Dave, I that's use... great. I can't believe you started and finished that in the allotted time. I didn't finish it. I'm just okay, saying... Fun. Oh. There's more to, to come. No, but I'm going to use Jeff's excuse. I'm I'm actually starving, so... <laughs> Chorizo time. Chorizo time. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah. It was good to see you guys. Nice, uh, nice Kirby women. Dan, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic Kirby. I never got an answer about the W. I'm not so excited. I'm I'm kind of annoyed. I yeah. for sure thought someone would know. Apparently, oh, the interwebs are unknowledgeable about this W. Uh, I don't. Maybe it's not really a W. Maybe not. All right. Well, maybe what are you gonna not. do? <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know. All right, gentlemen. All right. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in with us this week. Maybe we'll be back next week. I don't know. Maybe I hope Dan, so. Maybe Dan will draw something uh, Kirby related next week. This was probably more than Kirby, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, gentlemen, it was a pleasure to see you guys. Thanks yeah. everyone for tuning in. Yep. Toodles. Everybody, take care. Stay safe out there. <laughs>